Coachman Freedom Express 246 RKS here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. One of our very best selling Freedom Expresses. It's a perfect little couple's camper. And uh, I'm going to go through this and kind of point out the things that make this really stand out in its class. A lot of people don't look at this and realize it is a member of uh, Coachman's lightweight lineup because it's also their top end travel trailer at Coachman. It fulfills two roles at the same time here and it does so very well. Now, uh, construction is one of the areas where this is vastly different. Looking at it, you can't tell the difference, but it's not just what's on the surface that matters. There is a measure of what's under the surface that matters. Coachman's are vacuum laminated. They're not pinch rolled. There's a big difference there. Long story short, vacuum lamination is a better process that's proven to last longer and have a little uh, lesser, not a little, but a significantly lesser chance of delamination. Now, um, this has the largest front uh, pass-through baggage storage in its class. These come with this really handy two foot by four foot indoor outdoor uh, work table. Now I want to mention real quick, things like that are could be part of an option package and uh, this video is not meant to represent every single 246 RKS. It's meant to just kind of show you what a 246 RKS is, how they're put together, the advantages of this layout. I like their pass-through storage lighting. It's a one giant LED light strip that runs the entire length of this thing. Makes it very easy to see all of it. Now notice too, this is a really good section to get to see how these things are made from the inside out. You don't see particle board, you don't see OSB. You know, where you do see wood, it's plywood. Um, you know, just for general reinforcement. And everything is welded aluminum, not bracketed. Bracketed aluminum can wiggle over time and it's just not as strong. Now I have uh, this red uh, battery box plugged in here to turn some lights on for us. But notice you do have room for two batteries here if you want to. Now, uh, you know, if you're going dry camping, it's a lot easier to swap out. Um, 20 pound propane tanks here than 30s. That's why you'll find 20s on these Coachmans. These are made for the people who go camping all the time. You know, they're not, that. that's the whole point is that this is supposed to be easy. If it's Sunday, you're grilling, you run out of propane, not a problem. Swap out a 20 pound tank. If it's a 30 pound tank you have, it's a little trickier. Now, um, this does have fully enclosed underbelly, so that will help with extending your camping season. Um, aluminum rims here, just to give it that great look without having to worry about uh, steel wheels rusting. Now, notice the wide stance on these wheels. That is there to help with stability at higher speeds. It helps keep the, uh, the tires from um, you know, wiggling effectively. Sorry about that announcement there. We're pretty close to the building. Now, one important thing I do want to point out here is this seemingly insignificant item right here. This is the vent from your uh, hood above your stovetop, and a lot of lightweights do not have one. If they don't have that simple little thing right there, then when you're cooking, there's no way to exhaust heat from your camper. The heat builds up in the trailer. You're going to start sweating like crazy. Um, you know, you can't exhaust odors from your RV. If you add something like the uh, outdoor grill, which I forgot to open previously, so pardon me here, you'll notice that you get a full Coleman um, gas grill right here. Now what's really nice is this thing is a high output grill. So I'm, I'm sure the uh, microphone on the camera has probably been blasted by the wind a few times so far. I apologize for that. I don't use fancy camera equipment. I just use a real simple thing that I got off the shelf somewhere. But uh, back to the point, this is freestanding. You can put it on your picnic table if you want. You can take it anywhere. It's not a problem. Now one of the big areas that help keep the weight in check on these Coachmans is Asdell. And that is this white layer that you see right here. That is exactly what the fiberglass is glued onto. Compared to wood, which is normally found under the skin of most trailers, um, Asdell is 50% lighter, can't rot, mold, mildew. It's a resin. It's ba its primary components melted down pop bottles, actually. But it's, it's waterproof. You know, it can't have that failure point that so many others do. So it's really hard for this skin to delaminate. Now, one thing I like on this model as your power awning switch is right here. It's right next to the door. So you see that you can stand right here outside, kick your awning in, out, not a big deal. And you do have, let me just flip this switch here, you do have LED lighting underneath the awning. Now notice it's mounted to the side of the trailer, not inside the awning tube, so you can use that uh, without running the awning all the way out should you be so inclined. Um, LED lighting all the way through this entire coach. Uh, it's really nice because you don't have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs all the time. The uh, sofa you see here, that can flip down into a sleeper, jackknife style. And you will find supreme storage in this floor plan. 
all over the place. Even that seemingly small drawer turns out to be a two foot deep drawer. Everything is all plywood box constructed. Everything is full extension so you can reach all the way to the back of the drawer. Everything has easy pull handles. Uh, big windows here wherever they can too. You see one there and one directly across. Why it's important that they're directly across from one another is if you open them for ventilation, you can get some really nice crosswinds moving through here. Let me spin you around real quick. We're going to work from back forward now. <clears throat> this is a rear kitchen. That's the RK of the RKS with the S being a slide, obviously. So we do have central air in the ceiling. I do want to point out that Asdell is there to keep the weight in check because this trailer is taller. This is a tall ultralight, which are two things that don't normally go together. Coachman had to go to some pretty hefty extremes to make that happen. This is 81 inches tall, not 78 inches tall. It's a big difference. Where it's a really big difference is when you're right over here in the shower. A tall guy like me does not have to put his head in the bubble just to, uh, you know, take a shower normally. You don't have to sit there and crouch, you know, no crouching tiger hidden shower. <laughs> um, your tabletops and your coachings are one of their very unique qualities, and I love this. This is your standard countertop. This is not upgraded or anything. Um, the uh, You see, it's sealed edge. It's waterfall sealed. That means that there's nowhere for water or moisture to get in here and seep in and swell and cause soft spots. That's just how it is. Real quick, I do want to mention when it comes to things like the interior fabrics, again, this video can differ from the unit in stock, so please double check our picture tour because I work really hard to make sure these pictures match up with your unit. Now, uh, rear kitchens offer a lot more cabinetry, a lot more storage space than uh, uh, most models their size. And I love this drawer under the sink. That's not uh, only part of the rear kitchen. That's actually part of any Freedom Express. It's just something that I love and I like sharing with people. And you have extra big overhead cabinetry back here just to kind of show you. It goes clear up to my elbow. And I've got pretty big arms. I'm 6'3 again. Uh, flip it around here. Our entertainment system is all in one AM, FM, CD, DVD, even Bluetooth enabled. So, you know, you can take your entertainment on the go with you. You want to keep your phone in your pocket, you can still play music through your speakers, even sitting in your camping chair outside. Uh, your TV is on a swing arm. So, as you see here, no matter where you sit in the living room, you can turn it right to you and get a good angle on the television. Now, this is a fun little thing. This is a handy charging station. You see this pops down right here. There's all sorts of plugs. And notice they made them face the grounds different ways. So if you have bulky cell phone chargers, you can flip them in any way you want. You can dangle the cord down through there. Leave your phone right here. Keep it charging. And it can still wirelessly Bluetooth to your stereo while it's here. Very cool stuff. Now, there are a lot of 24, 25, 26 foot rear kitchen models. Very similar in layout to this one. But this varies in one critical way. Most of them, the slide stops here. It stops right next to that sofa. You see you have all this extra storage space in here still in the slide out. All of this is off the floor plan. You just get so much bonus storage space because this has an extra big slide out. It's not even funny. And there are, you talk to anyone who's camped for years, there's two things you will never get enough of in any RV, countertops and cabinetry, but it is nice to try. Um, you will also notice there are extra power outlets hidden all over the place around here, so it's easy to keep things charged. Even this is an extra hanging storage closet. They actually have like five or six hanging storage closets in this model. It's pretty spectacular. Um, this is also a full 80 inch bed, not a shorter 74 to 76 inch quote camper queen. Um, you see up here, we do have power outlets and stands on both sides of the bed, so if you have CPAP machines, you're all set, not a problem. Um, flip it over this direction here. You can kind of see how, uh, you know, there's a very easy flow to this floor plan. Everything just kind of cruises through, but you have a big bathroom. And one thing I like to show people in small campers is if you're tall like I am, you have plenty of leg room. You see, I, I mean, I've got long legs and I can't, I can't even touch the wall across from me. Now we have a nice fifth wheel shower not a travel trailer tub, and it is a spa style radius front. It's not a uh, Neo Angle style. So it's just improved cosmetics. It just looks fantastic. And again, because this is tall, you won't have to worry about your head hitting the ceiling when you're trying to take a shower. Even here in the bathroom, we have all LED lighting, no incandescence to worry about. And again, even here in the bathroom, we have that sealed edge countertops I'm telling you about. So that if you're splashing water around the sink, you're not going to worry about it damaging your countertops here over time. There are so many more reasons 
why this trailer is really one of the best in its class. Every RV is the best for a different reason. I've shown you a few ways this one's the best in its class. You know, if, if someone can't do the same for the trailers they're selling, maybe they don't know anything about their trailers. And is that really the kind of place you want to spend thousands of dollars with? Let's be frank. This is an investment. You want to spend it with people who understand what you're going to be doing. Most of our salesmen here are campers themselves. More than half of our salesmen were customers of Halitz before they were salesmen at Halitz. I think that's pretty cool. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halitz RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.